Hey guys, let's go ahead and design this Barbie setup. We're using our grass wall. We're using two of our open arches and our sequence wall in the back to give it that shimmer look. Right now what you're seeing me do is just attach my balloon to make a long cluster. I'm adding weights at the bottom. My weights are typically just water in a 17 inch balloon. It just gives it the right weight instead of using multiple small balloons. Right now, I'm adding my pink, which is 17, uh, 18 inches, blue up to about 17. The fun thing about balloon is that it's a structure that you have to keep playing with to get the look that you want. I'm going to go ahead and move forward to the top and position my top piece. I struggle with this top piece a little bit because I wanted it to hang a certain way and it was giving me a run for my money but at the end of the day we was able to figure it out um, I didn't like how it was sitting I had to play with it I wanted it to hang over the wall just a little bit this was my very first time work working with this wall panel but we was able to figure it out anyway um, and just by shifting and moving some stuff around right there i have the look that i want my assistant was like don't move it don't move it it's perfect <laughs> but after we got done then we started to add um, our statement pieces another thing i will tell you is as a balloon artist always try to get a half apron this way is really helpful you can have all your 260s in there you can have your um, scissors in there like whatever you need is easy to grab and i made sure me and my employees always have one uh, it's just make things a lot easier instead of asking somebody to hand you hand you a 260 asking somebody to hand you a rubber band so that was the top look that we had now i'm just going to go ahead and add some accent pieces to the balloon design and i really enjoyed setting this up this was my first time trying to go with the wave of a trend but it turned out to be beautiful anyway Another thing is as a balloon artist or as an artist as a whole, you definitely have to step out of your comfort zone and try to follow what's trending. I haven't been doing that in my business and I was able to get away with it for quite a while. And this summer I noticed a massive decrease in sales because I wasn't really following the trend. I've always in my private life, I don't do designers, I don't do Gucci Louis, none of that. I just, I dress just to look nice and feel good about myself. But it's different when you're in the decoration world. Uh, world. You definitely got to keep up with the Joneses and keep up with what's trending. Why still trying to stay true to yourself and why you got started in the first place? So there goes my assistant. She was definitely loving the setup. <laughs> I'm like, you ready to be on camera? She's like, sure. So she was definitely loving the setup as well. But this was the overall look for this design. Next, we're just going to go ahead and get into setting up our picnic area. So for this design, we're using two full carpet from Home Depot or Lowe's. These are really lightweight, easy to carry great great tip that we discovered this weekend that our kids table height make the perfect picnic table height so now i'm gonna invest in more kids table because i know i can be able to use it for a picnic table as well another tip to save my decorator some money we have i can tell you how many backdrops that we have so many in different colors so i was actually able to use it as the runner because i wanted to give it that crunch look runner and this was a sheer float fluid fabric and i just went ahead and use it as a runner as well so that was a great tip now what you're seeing us here is just designing the picnic table we're adding our charger plates right now we're gonna go ahead and add extra glass plates next um, and just yeah enjoy the rest of the video this is the simple things that just bring everything together